Hi, this is Christian, and welcome back to NFL Updates Express, your weekly dose of NFL news. Coming your way, preseason week three predictions. It's preseason week three, and you know what that means. The starters get to play a whole half, and in this matchup, it's the Miami Dolphins taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now for the Dolphins, it will be interesting to see Jay Cutler in, in some extended action after his short retirement and now in South Beach. It will be interesting to see how he can connect with targets like Devontae Parker and Jarvis Landry, who he'll be throwing to for the majority of this season. I think the Dolphins have an excellent chance to make the playoffs, even with Jay Cutler instead of Ryan Tannehill. And even if Cutler happens to get injured, which he's been kind of injury prone in the past, I feel like Matt Moore can fill in and do just as good as a job. And for the Philadelphia Eagles, well, I think they're going to have a great season as well. I think they'll be on the fringe of a playoff spot. Maybe they'll get in, maybe they won't, somewhere between 8-8 eight and eight to 9-7. and seven. It'll be interesting to see if the Eagles can get it done in a very tough division and conference overall. I think Carson Wentz will take the next step, and it'll be interesting to see how his weapons perform in this game. They have a joint practice in Philadelphia this week, and it'll be interesting to see if there's any skirmishes or any great matchups to watch there in camp. But overall, it doesn't really matter who wins, but it's interesting to see the starters in action, but I'll take the Philadelphia Eagles to get the job done. Dylan's prediction is the Miami Dolphins. It's a New York battle at MetLife Stadium when the New York Giants take on the New York Jets. Now the Jets, well, everyone's saying, hey, they're going to go 1-15 or 0-16, and they don't want to hear that. But first things first, they have to find a quarterback to play the position for this season. Will they go with Christian Hackenberg, who has a little experience in the NFL, basically a rookie as he got limited snaps last season. And, well, he just doesn't really look ready quite yet. So, will they go with the experienced Josh McCown, or could they go with Bryce Petty, who started a couple of games last year, and he didn't play all that great, but he was a young quarterback and has room for improvement. And the Jets, well, they have Belial Powell and Matt Forte, probably the strength of their offense, and so they'll probably have to be on the ground to succeed this season. And for the Giants, well, we know they have a great offense, but it's up to Eli Manning to lead them maybe back to the postseason. I feel like the Giants could go anywhere between 7-9 and nine to 12-4, and four, depending on how Eli Manning plays this year. The Giants are a very talented team, have a great defense, and overall it should be pretty entertaining to see how they perform this year. But as for this game, I think I'll take the New York Giants to win the game. Dylan's prediction is the New York Jets. Two games up, two to go. And for the third spotlight game of the week, it's the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Now for the San Francisco 49ers, everyone thinks they're going to be atrocious as they were last year going 2-14, only winning games against the Los Angeles Rams twice. And I think the 49ers will be better than expected though. I mean, they have Ryan Hoyer and he'll start this season and he played pretty decently for the Chicago Bears last year before getting injured, so I think he should be a serviceable quarterback that can make things happen. And they do have the weapons, too. Pierre Garçon, Marquise Goodwin, and Aldrich Robinson aren't household names, but they're pretty shifty and can get the job done. Oh yeah, and don't forget about Jeremy Curley as well, who was a breakout player to an extent last year. They have tight end George Kittle and Vance McDonald as well, so it'll be interesting to see how they incorporate him with fullback Kyle Juszczyk in the fold for Baltimore. And for the Minnesota Vikings, I think they'll be back this year. They'll definitely contend for the NFC North crown with the Green Bay Packers, the Lions, and the Chicago Bears on a couple of games as well. And I think the Vikings, they ride on their defense. Of course, they have Daniil Hunter, safety Harrison Smith, and of course, cornerback Xavier Rhodes. So they certainly have the talent on that side of the ball. And I think the Vikings will be a great team this year. But as for this game, I'll take the Minnesota Vikings to get the job done at home. Dylan's prediction is the Minnesota Vikings. For the fourth and final spotlight game of the week, it's the Green Bay Packers taking on the Denver Broncos. Now the Broncos announced that Trevor Simeon would be the starting quarterback for 2017, and that comes as no surprise as Paxton Lynch struggled mightily in the preseason, and well, Simeon didn't impress as much as I thought, but he did enough where that's what you're going to get out of Trevor Simeon, and he doesn't really do anything to lose you too many games, but he can be not as effective as you want for the Broncos that are pushing for another playoff appearance and even a Super Bowl with the defense they currently have constructed. 
And speaking of Super Bowls, the Packers are looking to get back to the Super Bowl this year. They haven't been to a Super Bowl since the 2010-2011 year when they won as a sixth seed in the wild card. And Aaron Rodgers, he's had a couple of NFC Championship blunders and not really his fault. It's just a team game, but I think the Packers' best chance to make it to a Super Bowl might be this year. Overall for this game, I think I'll take the Denver Broncos to win it in the preseason. Dylan's prediction is the Denver Broncos. week is Chicago Bears running back Jordan Howard. Now he is on a 3-13 and team and probably won't get the national headlines but in my opinion he is one of the most underrated running backs in all of football. He's very talented and he was second in rushing yards not even starting the first three games of last year and he was only behind Ezekiel Elliott and he probably would have eclipsed him had he started all 16 games last year. I think Howard is a very great running back, should have another fantastic season in 2017, and ultimately help the Bears win games this year. For the rookie spotlight, it's Kareem Hunt, the running back for the Kansas City Chiefs. Now after the departure of Jamal Charles in the offseason, they needed a new running back to replace that workhorse role. And that might go to Spencer Ware still. But Kareem Hunt could step in there and provide a one-two punch in the backfield for KC. If they can do that, maybe Kansas City can go far in the playoffs this season.